welcome back Karate Cut to a Shizue Karate. Today I'm going to show you two ways to tie your karate belts. So for this portion of the video, you're not going to need to see my face. We're just going to focus on the belt and how to tie it. But before that, let's go ahead and fix the gi. A lot of young students when they start out, and even older when they're not corrected, wear it right over left. This is incorrect. So you want to make sure that you have it left over right because this is the traditional way on how to wear a gi. A good way to remember this is in the left corner of your gi. So on the left side of your gi, down in the bottom corner, is a patch from whoever made your gi. About 90% of the time. There are some gis that do not have this. They just put it on the tag inside the gi in the back like a t-shirt. This is to help indicate that it goes on the outside. So now that we got our geese fixed, let's go ahead and tie our belts. This first knot is a fairly common knot. All we're going to do first, before we start tying, is we're going to go down to the end of the tails. We're going to put the tails together. Make them even. We're going to slide down the belt. And now, we found the middle. So, we're going to take the middle of this belt now, make sure our gi is in the correct spot. And then depending on how you like to wear it, some people wear it nice and high on their belly button, some people go nice and low on their hips. It's personal preference, whichever one you prefer. Unless, if you're not an Ishizue Karate student, and your teacher requires you to wear it at a certain length or spot, then wear it where they tell you to. So, we're going to place the middle of it right at our belly button or underneath the belly button along the hip bones. Reach behind, and we're going to take the one that's in our right hand and give it to our left hand. And we're going to take the one in our left hand, give it to our right hand. So we trade it. Pull them out in front, make sure they're still even, and boom, still even. From here, I like to take the one in my left hand and put it on top as we crisscross to make the letter X. See the letter X? Left goes on top to make that letter X. At least that's how I like to do it. From here, notice now we have this part of our belt where the X is and the belt where we started. So that left one that went on top of the X is going to go under the X, then underneath the belt. Now I know what you're thinking, Coach Joel, there's, there's a huge gap here. We're going to pull this up and we're going to pull this down to the ground. And then just, my gi got stuck. It was supposed to be a lot smoother than that, but now, it's all one piece. Now let's finish the knot. So we're going to place them on top of each other. And if you lost a little bit, if they're not perfectly even, that is fine. Do not freak about perfection and making sure that the two tails are the exact same size. All we're going to do now is I take the bottom one and I go over. Okay? So it's coming towards my left or my right, however which way you want to go, but it's going to go on top of the one on top. Okay, so it makes another little X and a hole. So it makes a fish shape. These are the tails and here's the head. Now the piece of tail on top, it's going to go into the hole. I'm going to grab the other tail. I'm going to get ready to tighten it. Now, a lot of people do this and this because they think more power to do that, but that makes your knot look not nice. So follow your belt as you tighten. So you're going to take this tail on this side and drag it along your belt. Nice tight fist. Same with this side. This tail, same time. One, two, three. Good. And again, if they're not even, even. It's completely fine. 
If everything worked out perfectly on the first try, nobody would do anything. And there you go. There's the first knot. Nice simple knot to keep your gi in place. Let's go ahead and get to the second knot. So, the second knot, make sure our gi is correct. We're going to do the same thing that we did to start with the other one. For me, this one's a little bit quicker, simpler, and tighter of a knot, and keeps the belt on longer, especially when I'm rolling, sparring, uh, throwing, anything. So get the tails even again. Go all the way down, find the other end. But this time, we're going to keep it folded in half. I'm going to pull it around like I'm doing my, my other one, my other knot. But this time, I'm going to spin it. So now, I have the loop and I have the two tails. And now I'm just going to put it on like you would a normal belt. I'm going to put the two tails into the hole, pull it down. Now notice how I turned it here, it's because when I tightened it, the tails and the belt loop are over here on my hip and I want it in line with my belly button. So I'm going to move it over until it's in line with my belly button as best as I can. And now we're just going to focus on the two tails. So if you look at your tails, one of them is going to be closer to your body and the other one is going to be closer to the loop. The one closer to the loop, go ahead and pull that one off to the side. Now, see how I let go? The belt's not coming undone. So I'm going to take the one that's closer to the body. And you see the loop, how it goes here? It gives me that extra piece of belt here. I'm going to take this one, this tail, it's going to go underneath both of them. One more time. Let me get a little bit closer. See if that light can get there. This tail is going to go underneath the belt. So watch my fingers. Here's the belt. Boom. Just like my hand just did. So this goes here. Goes underneath both pieces up against your body. Now I'm going to line them up. Make sure they're close to the same size. Then this one that's on top. So if I let go, one's going to be hanging on top, one's going to be hanging closer to the floor. The one on top, I'm going to pull up to my chin, and the one on the floor, closer to the floor, I'm going to pull to the ground. Nice and tight. Put them on top of each other. And notice they're almost the same size. Just a little bit off, which is fine. Again, we're not aiming for perfect length every time. From here, I'm just going to make a simple X. I'm going to go around the bottom one, tighten it. So one more time. Top one goes over, under, and through. When I tighten it, just like the last time, following the belt. I like this one because it keeps it nice and out, makes it a lot tighter. That way when I'm getting grabbed and stuff, my gi stays in a little bit longer. And if someone grabs my belt to throw me, this knot isn't going to come undone as easily. And there you go guys. Those are two ways to tie your karate belts. So practice at home, have a parent help you, and remember if you have any questions, Please comment down below or message us on Facebook at Lashley's Training Center. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a great day. Train hard, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oops.